How did our moon come to be? This question has puzzled humanity for centuries, but now, scientists have uncovered exciting new evidence that helps solve the mystery of the moon's origins. Let's walk through what we know so far. The leading theory is that the moon formed from the debris of a giant impact between the Earth and a Mars-sized planet about 4.5 billion years ago. This idea was first proposed in the 1970s and has gained widespread support over the past few decades. Still, some details have remained hazy. Experts have debated the nature of the immediate aftermath of this mighty collision. Did it create a huge cloud of debris that later coalesced into the moon? Or did the moon form more directly from the melded material of Earth and the other planet, nicknamed Thea? New research published in 2022 provides compelling support for the impact theory. Using computer simulations, scientists modeled different scenarios for how the Earth-Thea crash could have played out. Their analysis points to the collision creating a slowly accreting disk of debris that formed the moon over an extended period of time. This evidence bolsters the notion that a giant impact gave birth to our cosmic companion about 4.5 billion years ago. But even more fascinating are the implications for Earth itself. The study indicates that Thea's remains were absorbed into our planet's mantle during and after the clash. Let's break this down. What exactly did the simulations show? Well, the research team ran over a hundred different computer models analyzing how material from Earth and Thea could have interacted and merged into the fallout of the collision. They paid special attention to the chemical composition of rocks as the material mixed. The findings matched extremely well with actual lunar samples and Earth mantle rocks, but only if a slow-forming, long-lived disk of debris was created by the impact. In other words, their modeling effectively confirmed both the giant impact hypothesis itself and the idea that the moon aggregated gradually from the dispersed remains of Thea and early Earth. Now, here's where it gets really fascinating. The simulations also revealed that material from the smaller planet Thea sank deep into Earth's mantle following the collision. How do scientists know? Well, let's talk about some peculiar entities called large low shear velocity provinces. These zones, nicknamed LLSVPs, sit at the base of Earth's mantle, just above the core. They were discovered decades ago when geologists noticed that seismic waves moved unusually slow when passing through these areas. This suggested the material down there is much denser than other parts of the mantle. The two LLSVPs are massive. Each is thousands of miles across. One sits beneath Africa and the other beneath the Pacific. For years, scientists have debated how these dense rock anomalies came to be. Well, the new modeling strongly supports the idea that the LSSVPs are remnants of Thea that plunged into Earth's depths long ago. According to the simulations, the energetic impact would have sent the dense, iron-rich core of Thea spiraling down to Earth's mantle. And there it stayed, pooling in two large concentrations that persist to this day. This not only solved the mystery of the LLSVPs, it also explains the moon's identical chemical signature to Earth. Thea's lighter outer material was ejected into space to form the moon, while the denser, iron-rich material became part of Earth. If true, this has big implications for our understanding of Earth's evolution and geology. For instance, the dense concealed remnants of Thea would have influenced the development of Earth's magnetic field over billions of years ago. And that's not all. The hidden anomalies may also be linked to the formation of volcanic hotspots like Hawaii and Iceland. That's because these plume-like upwellings that produce volcanoes seem to originate near the edges of the LLSVPs deep below. So, in essence, the ancient collision that spawned the moon may also have seeded Earth with the raw materials for volcanoes and other active geology that still shapes our planet today. This connection is still being studied, but it's a tantalizing prospect. The giant impact seems to have delivered a long-lasting dual legacy. Our cosmic neighbor the moon and key ingredients for Earth's continually changing surface. Now, let's switch gears and talk briefly about the pre-impact Earth. What was our planet like before Thea crashed into it? Well, scientists are still piecing together the details, but the basic picture is coming into focus. Based on the latest evidence, early Earth had already separated into an iron core, rocky mantle, and primitive crust within about 50 million years of the planet's formation. Keep in mind, the collision with Thea happened much later, around 4.5 billion years ago. So by the time of the impact, proto-Earth was already a structured planet, in fact, some research suggests our world was rotating extremely fast, completing a day in just two to three hours. This rapid spinning may have been a factor in the giant collision with Thea occurring in the first place. Now, let's circle back to the specifics of this epic crash. 
As we mentioned earlier, it was likely a glancing blow, with the smaller Mars-sized Thea hitting the larger Proto-Earth at an angle. The tremendous energy of the impact threw huge amounts of material into orbit, eventually forming the moon over a period of maybe a hundred years. Meanwhile, the dense iron core of Thea sank into Earth's mantle. The computer models indicate much of the mixing and melding of material happened in the turbulent aftermath of the collision. It was a time of utter geologic chaos on Earth. But from this violence and upheaval emerged two enduring legacies that define our neighborhood in the solar system to this day, planet Earth and its loyal lunar companion. Of course, many details are still being investigated, and this new research will certainly undergo scrutiny and debate among planetary scientists worldwide. Yet, the study represents a major step forward in resolving key unknowns about the moon's origin. The simulated scenarios align remarkably well with real-world geochemical evidence, lending confidence to the giant impact model and its enduring aftermath. Looking ahead, there are some exciting directions this research could take us. For one, it provides target areas to look for surviving material from Thea buried within Earth's mantle. Careful geochemical sampling along the margins of the LLSVPs in the future may reveal primitive chemistry pointing to the moon's lost parent planet. The findings also open up new lines of inquiry about how Thea's remnants influence geologic processes and volcanism over Earth's long history. There are many avenues still to be explored. And the better we understand the Moon's origin story, the better we can piece together the early history of our entire Earth-Moon system. This was a pivotal and violent period of planetary evolution. Clues from Thea and the giant impact are helping illuminate these formative eons. This study represents a major milestone, bringing us measurably closer to fully unraveling the moon's origins. Still, questions remain, and decades more work will be required to complete the cosmic puzzle. In the centuries ahead, continued research may finally let us declare with full confidence, the mystery is solved. This is exactly how the moon came to be. There are always more layers to uncover when probing events from over 4 billion years ago. For now, we can say the decades-old giant impact theory has passed a pivotal new test, emerging even stronger. But science is an endlessly accumulating endeavor. New findings will be questioned, challenged, and refined over time before settling indelibly into fact. Our cosmic companion will continue unveiling its long-cloaked secrets at its own patient pace. The moon holds immense clues to the intertwined histories of both worlds, if we know where to look. As it drifts in Earth's embrace, every crater and ridge silently whispers of immense energies expended untold eons ago. Studies like this one, using cutting-edge modeling to probe the past, help decipher these whispers. Gradually, the epic tale is coming into view, like a developing photograph. The fuzzy outlines are sharpening into a coherent image. We owe such progress to generations of bold thinkers pushing at the frontiers of knowledge. The mystery of the moon's birth has challenged great minds since Galileo's time. Their dedicated detective work across the centuries has laid the foundation for today's discoveries. Standing on these giant shoulders, today's scientists can glimpse vistas previous generations only dreamt of. There is still far to go, but momentum is gathering. One day, the solution may seem so self-evident that scholars will wonder why it took so long. For now, this ancient enigma's long-awaited resolution is finally emerging before our eyes. Well, that's all for today. Let us know your thoughts. Do you find the giant impact theory convincing? Are you surprised that Thea's remnants may still exist deep within Earth billions of years later? Share your perspectives in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Breakthrough Science Explained. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.